what can folks do as a support system to, to help people who may really be in a dark time? Um, because, you know, you just never know. Um, and how, how would someone go about that? And if I have to re-ask the question, I, I definitely will. I know it's a lot, it's loaded questions there, but that's what I kind of want us to start off with. Well, of course, I think you ask the hard questions. You know, don't be afraid to say, hey, I see something different in you. You're behaving a little differently. You haven't joined us for our weekly calls, our weekly, you know, game nights. So what's going on? Are you okay? And it's one thing to think, okay, well, I just called to say hello, but truly check in. How are you doing? How are things going? Like anything stressing you out that you want to talk about? Let's go out and go for a walk or have those moments where it can just be one-on-one versus it being this big group where you might not feel entirely comfortable. So let's start off by asking the questions and being completely honest with each other and saying, hey, I see something maybe going on with you and, and I'm really concerned. And here's another thing. What if you don't see the quote unquote signs of somebody who might be a little different? What if you don't see it at all? If you don't see any signs at all, this is where we just ensure that we're that support system. Hey, you can talk to me if you want to. I just wanted to check in on you and see how things are going. You crossed my mind. A lot of times, most of us may say, hey, I thought about that person and I got so busy, I didn't reach out or I didn't get to respond to their, to their text message. But take a moment when you have that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself and you're processing, if they cross your mind again, go ahead and reach out because that could be your intuition and your gut feeling saying this person may need to hear a friendly voice at this time. Okay. And, you know, we want to be a support system to our loved ones, to our family, even to people who we become friends with. Um, there's still this stigma associated with getting therapy. How do you, and, how do you still become that support system knowing that a friend or a family member may need therapy but not coming across as pushy because you know everybody has their own journey um, to wellness to wholeness how do you still be that support system without being pushy well once you mention that option give them other alternatives therapy may not be the route that they want to take at that time but they can go to life coaching you know they can have a peer support group they may be able to go within the community and find different ways to volunteer and interact with others that have a like interest and a, and a like-minded in different manners. So it's being able to say, hey, I think you need something a little bit more. Therapy is a great option, but if you're not open to that, let's research other resources that's out here that could be beneficial for you, maybe in a different manner. A lot of times we have to be mindful that there is still a stereotype associated with mental health and therapy and, and truly going in that alternative. However, there is life coaching and there's peer support and there's support groups out here and other things in the community that can be beneficial. 